What's up guys, Inspect the Gadget here and as always it's great to see your faces. Today we're going to be doing an inspection of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So let's get inspecting. So what Samsung has essentially done with the Galaxy Note 2 is to create a larger Galaxy S3, at least design wise. It sports a 5.5 inch HD Super AMOLED display at 1280 by 720 pixels which is about 267 pixels per inch. It's also pretty thin at .37 inches and weighs about 183 grams. The Galaxy Note 2 sports an 8 megapixel shooter on the rear capable of capturing full HD 1080p video as well as a 1.9 megapixel front facing camera that shoots 720p. And though many think it's just way too big to be a phone, it's no doubt it's way smaller than the small Nexus 7 tablet. But where the Note 2 really shines is in its performance. With its 1.6 GHz quad core Exynos processor and 2 GB of RAM, boy does this thing fly. And with Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean and its Project Butter out the box, everything, and I mean everything, is as fluid as water. I mean bar none, this is definitely the most mellifluous Android experience I've ever had. <laughs> yeah dude, it's that sweet. And although you won't see pixels in text is tack sharp, Samsung's TouchWiz interface still has its faults, like the horrible looking calendar app. I'd really just prefer the stock Android app. I'm also still trying to get used to the non-capacitive home button. Suffice it to say, Android has come a long way since Cupcake, and its journey is evident in native apps like Gmail and the overall Jelly Bean experience. And the speed and beautiful Super AMOLED display of the Note 2 are the icing on the cake. I mean, Jelly Bean. And with Google Play's over 700,000 apps, music, movies, TV shows, books, magazines, you'll never run out of things to do with your Note 2. And games on this thing are insane. I mean, that Mali 400 GPU and the quad core Exynos CPU are just beast in games. Whether you're going cray on the Voltarites in Nova 3 or running for your life in Temple Run 2, this thing can handle it all. And no matter where you are, you'll have no problem getting fully immersed in your games as the Samsung Galaxy Note 2's speakers get really, really loud. And although you'll need two hands to play games, you might be surprised that you can use this gargantuan phablet single-handedly in other apps. In some apps, you can choose between lefty mode if you're a lefty or righty mode if you're a righty. And if you're ambidextrous, well, you'll just have to pick a side. And although I'm a stock Android kind of guy, I mean, TouchWiz and Jelly Bean? Cool. I mean, the precog Google Now is still as awesome as ever, giving you information before you actually need it. Yeah, I know. The future is in my hands right now. As well as getting you the information you ask it for in an insane amount of time. I'm talking near instantaneous here. And even third-party apps like Falcon Pro work great. On the other hand, Samsung's S-Voice leaves much to be desired. But one thing's for sure is that there are never, and I mean never, any hiccups with the Galaxy Note 2. I mean everything is ridiculously buttery smooth, and although some of the Note 2's features can be viewed as mere novelty items, others can be pretty useful, like expandable notifications or being able to use two apps on the screen simultaneously. Now if you ask me, that's just cooler than being cool. We'll call it ice cold. And the Galaxy Note 2 does this with ease. You'll wonder how you ever survived without at least two gigs of RAM. And although benchmarks don't really translate to real world performance, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is a baller on and off the court. And although I've heard other owners of the Galaxy Note 2 say it before, I never in a million years thought it would happen to me, but I got bit by the stylus bug. I pulled it out one day and that was all she wrote. I mean not only is it seamlessly integrated into the Note 2's body, but Samsung has also managed to make it an extension of the Note 2's overall user experience. I mean the stylus is the perfect addition to the Note 2, making the device ideal for the college student or the business professional who only wants to carry one device. Another neat feature is the S Pen's AirView which allows you to get additional information as you hover over an object, sort of like a traditional mouse. AirView also gives you thumbnail previews as you scan ahead in a video. Samsung has even included scarily accurate handwriting recognition with the Galaxy Note 2. 
and it's kind of weird because dare I say it the S Pen actually flows across the screen as if you were writing on paper. It's truly an experience you'd have to try for yourself to believe. So although the Note 2's impressive spec sheet easily put it on par with today's best smartphones, the coup de grace to otherwise phenomenal devices like the Droid DNA is battery life. I mean, I really tried to burn this 3100 milliamp hour battery and 15 hours later and six hours of screen on time, I still had over 20% battery life left. So it's crazy. So is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 the device for you? Well, that depends. I mean, the 1.6 gigahertz quad core Exynos processor, two gigabytes of RAM, Android 4.1 jelly bean out the box with Project Butter and Samsung's TouchWiz overlay. I mean, this thing, is amazing i mean those things i mean they make a great couple together i mean this thing's just amazingly fast everything works the battery life is just ridiculous on this thing 15 hours i get and six hours of screen on time i mean guys you can't go wrong with this device except for the fact that i'm six foot three inches tall guys and my hands are huge and holding this thing in one hand was natural for me. I mean, holding it up to my ear was natural for me. I had no issues whatsoever. But for someone with smaller hands, you may want to hold out for the Samsung Galaxy S4 or maybe get an S3 or some other device that's a bit smaller to hold in one hand if you like the larger screen real estate. So that's my take on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now, guys, I'm going to do a series of reviews on this thing because there are tons of tips and tricks that you can do with this thing that I really want to show you guys. So. Definitely going to be doing a series of videos on that. And that's about it, guys. I'm Inspect the Gadget. You can follow me on Twitter at Inspect the Gadget. You can also circle me on Google Plus at Inspect the Gadget. I'm also on Facebook.com slash Inspect the Gadget. And guys, head on over to InspectTheGadget.com. We've got tons of articles and news and reviews for you guys to check out. And also, guys, uh, if you like this video, please don't hesitate to hit that like button as it helps us out more than you know. And uh, if you want the latest and greatest in tech news and reviews, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm Sus Inspect the Gadget. Suspect the Gadget. <laughs> I'm Inspect the Gadget, and I will see you on the other side.